Upon arrival to my cafe, I am always greeted by Mr. Milk. The milk there is like our receptionist saying good morning. By the way, it's just 5.20 in the morning. Yep, that's really early. And it's Friday morning by the way, which means we can wear anything we want. No black shirt, no long black pants, nothing boring, just anything you feel like wearing. So I put my apron on and ready to start the day. First thing first, setting up the coffee machine and make sure everything is ready to go. So now let me walk through how does my morning routine look like. So the equipment that we're using is called Lamazako coffee machine. This is one of the most common machines that you can find in many cafes. And we don't use manual temper because that might be a bit too old fashioned. We are using Park Press Automatic Temper to provide a consistent temping result for every cup of coffee. For the grinder, we are using Enfirm SB2. And the best part of this grinder is that you don't need to hold your porta filter during coffee grinder process. Just leave it there grinding and you can do something else. Then next, make sure that everything is ready to go like sugar and chia powder and don't forget the measurement spoon as well oh also don't forget to prepare the damp clothes as well for the steamer and for the bench then prepare the milk jugs we have so many 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 milk jugs from small medium large and super large for different kinds of milk from normal milk, skim milk, lactose free milk, and plant based milk like almond, soy, and oat. You name it, we have it all. And we have seen many people start to drink alternative milk recently, like almond, soy, and oat. However, brands of the alternative milk is also important for so many people. After working for some time, these are what I can conclude. First, Many of my customers like Bon Soy brand over any other soy milk brand. And second, Milk Lab brand is the most highly requested almond milk brand. Well, what about you guys? Do you guys really care about the milk brand or not at all? Okay, so enough about today's trivia, let's get back to work. Now, I'm checking the espresso. There are many factors that need to be considered when you're assessing the quality of the espresso. From the time, weight, color, and taste, and every single factor matters. And espresso is the mother of every single type of coffee, so it's very crucial to get the taste right. When I'm happy with my espresso taste, then I'll jump to putting the milk into the fridge. So the concept in arranging the milk in the fridge is called FIFO, first in, first out, which means we're putting new stock at the back and use it later after the older stock used. So now it's almost 5.40 and I'm ready to open the shop and serve customers. You might be thinking, who will buy coffee that early? Well, we are always busy even early in the morning. There are many constructions are happening around our location, so the workers always start early. During this pandemic time though, we actually have lost many customers. Many office workers are actually working from home now and only come to the CBD about once or twice a week. This has caused our cafe to cut down the number of staff as well as forcing us to do other tasks beyond making coffee. But actually we are very grateful that we are still employed and happy with our job. It is only two of us now and teamwork is something that we have to rely on. So now I'm gonna make a latte. 
first thing first in frothing the milk is always to make the froth first. This lasts about 4 seconds. And when you think you have made enough froth, then bring up the jug and just wait until the milk is hot. If you want to know how to froth the milk perfectly, please click link in the description. And also don't forget to wipe and purge all the time after steaming. Honestly, it's a bit difficult to draw latte art on a takeaway cup because the surface is not really white, but it's still doable. So what is it like to be a barista? Someday you are cleaner. You have to clean and you have to leave the heavy things. Someday you are a technician fixing the coffee machine and make sure everything runs well. And someday you are a kitchen hand in the kitchen preparing chicken sneezy wrap. Someday you are a runner catching the train because you woke up late. Someday you are an artist drawing a flower with milk. Sometimes you feel like that might be too much to do for a barista But the reward, oh my god From the tips, Christmas gift, chocolate fittings And also the relationship that you form with the customers will stay forever Because that's what a great barista do Because that is the part of our job Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoy watching this video. I will see you next time. Goodbye!